Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I pack for a 10 day trip using only carry on luggage. I did a video like this back in the winter time that was very popular. So if you are going to a place where the weather is much colder or you're traveling in the winter time, then you might want to check that out. I'll have that video linked in the description box below. So this will be sort of the summer edition. I am going to be traveling back with my son. We live in Texas and he goes to school on the East Coast. So to get him back to college, I'm gonna travel with him and then fly home. And I do not want to be encumbered with a bunch of extra luggage. I don't wanna waste my time in baggage claim. Although at this time during the pandemic when not many people are traveling, maybe that'll be a little lighter than usual. We have traveled quite a lot because we have family on the East Coast and family in Switzerland. So over the years, I have learned how to pare things down, just take the essentials, and yet have plenty of different outfits to wear, all of the accessories, toiletries, shoes, and things like that to make my trip very enjoyable. So I wanna share with you some of those strategies and tips today. So if you're interested in that, let's get started. These are all of the things that I'm going to be packing and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail later in the video. Everywhere in the United States and Europe that I've traveled, you are allowed to bring a carry-on piece of luggage and one personal bag. I am using the carry-on from Away, and this is the smaller of the two carry-ons that they offer, and the Hue duffel bag from Cowpack. I'll have links for both in the description box below if you're interested. These were both gifted to me by Cowpack and Away, so I want to thank both of those companies, and I have thoroughly enjoyed using these, and I will show you all of the features of those as I show you how I'm packing. Some airlines do have weight restrictions on carry-on luggage. In my own personal experience traveling in the United States and Europe, I've never had my carry-on luggage weighed. They are mostly concerned with the size of your bags and if they are going to fit into the overhead compartments. So make sure that you do your research, you know what your airline requires, and so that you're not going to be surprised when you arrive at the airport. That said, make sure that you are completely capable of putting your own luggage up into the overhead compartment so that you don't have to rely on the flight attendants or a friendly passenger to help you. First, I'm going to show you everything that I pack into my personal bag. So starting with the liquids, I put them all into a one quart size bag and I was called out in my last video for not including mascara and toothpaste, so they're in there this time. I'm a big fan of little pouches. Compartmentalizing everything really helps keep your bag organized. And this large one I use for tech stuff. So I've got power cords, I even have some camera equipment in there. This pouch is part of a five piece packing cube set from CalPack and this one is waterproof. So it's perfect for your tech items. For my phone, there are several compartments both inside and outside of the duffel bag that make it easy to stow away my phone and find it quickly. I keep my brushes and combs in this little pouch. It keeps them clean and also easy to access because I can quickly locate them when I'm looking for them inside my bag. Inside this next bag is basically where I keep all of the toiletry items that are not liquid. So I've got hair accessories, um, emery boards, cotton swabs and pads, some soap, a mirror, and a little shower cap. I love traveling with those. And my razor I keep in here and deodorant. And I would suggest a travel size deodorant if you have one. I also like to carry things like earplugs and a little sewing kit. You just never know when you might need something like that. They're very small, very light, and take up very little room. So it's nice to have those along as well. I like using a separate pouch for my makeup. Having it in its own little compartment makes it easy when I'm getting ready for the day or if I want to grab something out of my luggage quickly on the flight or when I arrive at my destination, I'll know exactly where to find what I'm looking for. I try to keep the makeup light, just packing along the things that I need to create a natural look that's going to work for both day and evening. Of course, right now when we travel, we have to wear masks, so make sure you take along plenty of those as well. 
This little pouch is for carrying jewelry. I've had it for years and I love it. I'll have one like it in my Amazon store if you're interested. You can find the link for that in the description box below. I take a curling iron and my laptop and I like using a padded neoprene case even though there's a padded area inside the duffel bag. This is the travel wallet from Cowpack. I have been using this all spring and summer as a crossbody bag. It's so compact, yet it fits everything that you need inside. The strap is removable, so you can use it as a clutch as well. On the inside, there is tons of space for all of your cards, for cash. If you are carrying a paper ticket, there's room for that as well. There's a place for a pen and a little clip-on area for your keys. When we are traveling, we usually do a lot of walking, especially when we go to Europe, and having a little crossbody bag like this is perfect for that. Now I'm going to show you how I pack all of these things into my Hue duffel bag from Cowpack. This bag is made of vegan leather, and I chose the color Pink Sand, which I absolutely love. It's got a ton of room inside and a lot of little compartments, which are probably not that easy for you to see as I'm showing this. It also comes with this little pouch that can be detached, and this type of thing is great for carrying keys or something that you want to be able to grab quickly. This laptop compartment fits a 13 inch laptop. Mine is 13 inches and I have it in a separate case because I like as much padding as I can get and it fits perfectly. I put my curling iron at the bottom of the bag. It's one of the heavier items and I also don't need to access it during the flight. I tuck in my brushes and then I just start loading in all of the pouches, making sure that I can access the things that I know I'm going to want in flight in areas where I can easily get to them. As I said earlier, there are some little pockets on the inside. I'm putting my phone in there, but there are also some outside pockets. So if you prefer, you can put your phone in those for a little bit easier access. This hidden zipper pocket in the front is great for stowing anything that you wanna have easy access to. So I'm putting in my extra mask this time. This bag also comes with a detachable, adjustable padded shoulder strap, and there's a little hidden cell phone pocket. My phone will fit in there without its case, but it's a tight squeeze with the case, so I prefer to stow it inside. And this little sleeve on the outside allows you to fit it over your carry-on bag's handle, making it really easy to navigate the airport. When you release the snaps on the side of the bag, you can expand it a little bit and give yourself even more room inside if you find you need it. I am a big fan of packing cubes. This set comes from Cowpack. It's their five piece set and I have it in the color cream. I showed you earlier when packing my duffel bag how I am using the waterproof pouch as my tech bag. I won't need the large one for this trip, but I'm using one of the mediums to pack all of my socks, underwear, and bras. I love that it even has a place for a label if you want to get that organized, and it has a handle and a zipper pouch on the other side. Packing cubes are the best invention when it comes to packing and traveling. I find that I can organize everything in my bag so much better. They take up less space because you can compact things a little bit better, and your suitcase does not become a jumbled mess, especially if you are traveling from place to place. I can live out of the packing cubes and everything stays organized my entire trip. I'm using this for three sets of pajamas that I'm bringing along. It would also be a great place to put swimsuits and you could definitely get in several of those. For this trip, I'm bringing along three pairs of shorts and a pair of white jeans. I'm also including one dress and a jumpsuit for a little bit dressier wear. I have two t-shirts and then I have about five different blouses. And all of these things can be mix and match really well to create well over 10 outfits for the time that I'm going to be traveling. 
I'm going to be bringing three pairs of shoes on this trip. I'm going to pack these two and then I'm going to wear some sneakers when I travel. I collect these little pouches from purchases that I make because I know how great they are for packing, especially shoes. You don't want the dirty soles of your shoes to be rubbing up against your clean clothes. So I definitely recommend that you do something, whether you have cotton bags like these or even a plastic grocery bag works great. Most of my clothes are going to go in a packing cube, and this is sort of the larger of the two medium sizes in the Cal Pack five-piece set. And so I'm going to put all of the t-shirts, the dress, the jumpsuit, and the blouses in this, and then I will pack the pants separately. The Away carry-on is divided into two main compartments. This side has their compression board feature, which is really nice for compacting things that can be squished like your clothes. Inside this compartment, there's a little zipper pouch on the side that contains a laundry bag. It has a zipper and it's water resistant, so it's really great for packing up anything that could be wet like a bathing suit or just, you know, your dirty socks and underwear that you don't want to have mixed in with your other luggage. And this whole bag is detachable and washable, so it's really great. And if you're not using it, it rolls up and tucks out of sight. One packing tip that I find really useful is to always pack your suitcase so that the heavier items are towards the bottom of the suitcase on the wheel side. And that will make it easier for you to maneuver your suitcase around. So I'm gonna double up on that side. I put the pants on the bottom and one packing cube on top of that and the other at the top portion. Tightening the straps on the top of the compression board is very easy and it allows me to push everything down into the suitcase, compact things so that they take up as little room as possible. The other side of the suitcase has a mesh zipper closure and this side is great for packing anything else, especially if you have small loose items because when the cover is zipped closed, everything will stay contained. And I'm going to start by putting the larger packing cube in and pushing it towards the top. That will leave plenty of room for the shoes at the bottom. And remember, we wanna put things that are heavier towards the bottom, so this is the perfect place for shoes. One complaint that I heard from my previous video was that this doesn't leave a ton of space for bringing back souvenirs and things like that. That's never something that I'm really big on doing anyway, so this works well for me. But if you notice, the zipper closure side still has a little bit of space for me to tuck a few things in if I decide to purchase something, and there's usually some space in my personal bag as well. Some of the other features that I really enjoy are the TSA combination lock, the 360 degree spinner wheels, which I think are very smooth both on carpet and smooth surfaces, and the ejectable battery. So this can charge your phone and other portable devices, which is so nice to have when you're traveling. It is TSA approved for inside the cabin. And so if you did need to check this bag, you can eject the battery and carry it with you inside the cabin. The battery has two USB ports and will charge any phone up to four times, which is great. All the charging cables and adapters that you're going to need for your trip are also included. Both of these bags have some really special features. They are very durable and well-made. They are a little bit of an investment, but they are made to serve you well in your travels for many years. I hope that you found this video helpful, that you discovered some tips for packing more efficiently and packing light so that you can enjoy your travel time as much as you enjoy your final destination. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. If you liked this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe. Subscribing is easy, absolutely free. And when you activate the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you so much for spending your time with me here today. I look forward to seeing you in the comments and in the next video. Have a great week.